So what's the last problem with our full client here? We have our combo box, we can filter our list of competitors, we can select a competitor from our data grid, we see the details for the competitor. The last step that we have to take is we have to save changes in the total time property back to the database. For this, now let's start with the view layer. We add a button. We add a button. Button with content save grid dot com span equals two. But the problem is, how can we react on the button? Row equals to three. Here we have the button save button. So we have to handle the save dot click event. No, we will not add an event handler to the save dot click event we will use a command binding. Again, the command has to be implemented in the view modal layer because in the, the code behind file is just there to connect the view with the view modal. Let's go into our view modal. Oops, sorry. Let's collapse this one. We have to offer a method. Let's call this method public void save current competitor. No, oh, let's call it save competitor. And this one is nothing more than this dot service client dot save competitor async this dot current competitor. That's it. That's the implementation. The problem is that in WPF and also in Civilite, you cannot directly bind to a method. You cannot write something like here, uh, command equals to save competitor, for instance. That's not possible. Well, it is possible if you implement a certain interface. What we can do is we do the following. Public class save current competitor and this one implements i command that's a very important interface it's in the system windows input namespace and let's implement this one no problem implement the interface we have two important methods here we have the can execute method and we have the execute method and what how let's take a look i will show you how you can implement such a command binding class here Let's add a constructor. Important one, private main tense from view modal view modal. We have to have a back pointer to the corresponding view modal. Main tenants form view modal view modal. And remember this one. Uh, this dot view modal equals to view modal. Oops, modal. This one's fine. Now we know what the view model is and the problem is how can we implement can execute? When is it possible to save a current competitor? Well, it's quite easy. We can say return this dot view model dot current competitor not equal null. That's the important point. Whenever there is a current competitor, we could save it. But here is another event, can execute changed. We have to inform the view layer whenever the return value of the can execute method has changed. And therefore, we have to look on the current competitor property because this property defines whether the, the command binding can be executed. So we do the following. We say this view model, oh sorry, I'm missing a dot here. Here it is. Dot property changed plus equals. And we have a sender and event args. And here it is. If this dot can execute changed not equals null, let's say this dot can execute changed with this and new system.eventArcs. So we inform the user interface 
that the can execute method has probably changed whenever the property changed event in the view mode layer appears. So this one's fine. Can execute is implemented. Can execute changed is fired appropriately. But at the end, we have to execute the command. So we do the following. We say this dot view model dot save competitor. That's it. That's the whole implementation of the i command. And now we have to offer a property of type save current competitor with which the user interface, the view layer, what which the user interface layer can use to bind against. So we do the following. We say public no prop save current competitor save oops save competitor competitor yeah now it's right <laughs> It's only getter, it's a read only property property. Private method, private property here, safe current current competitor, safe for new. We don't need this one anymore. Of course we need it, sorry. A little bit desperate now. Set it here. This dot save competitor equals to new this and now that's that's it. Return this dot save competitor. So what have we done here? We have created a new class which implements i command. Important thing. This i command offers a can execute method and implements the execute method and it is really a proxy for our view modal implementation and here for the method save competitor. It's really a helper because WPF is not able to directly bind against this method. It needs an implementation of i command between and this i command implementation is offered here in the property save competitor. So what we can do, we can say here command equals to binding path save competitor. So just to make sure that nothing gets in our way, we rename this one implementation is and it doesn't need to be public. Let's compile this one and see if it works. To prove it, I open up my SQL Server Management Studio here. And here I have Oops. I have a query. Uh, let's change the database and say last name and total time. Let's see. The first one here, Mario Matt, has 1.4, so we'll start our implementation. Here it is. Let's change to Schlappling. Let's select Mr. Matt and change it to 1.6. Let's click on save and let's see if anything happened. Go up. Here we are. Run this one and as you can see, it worked. Our record has been saved back to the database. The view model layer has done its job. The view layer has been bound to the i command implementation and this is more or less a proxy for the safe competitor implementation. 
The important thing is, maybe you have noticed that one. Let's close it again. Fire it, it again. Fire it up. You see here, the save button is grayed out just because the can execute implementation of the i command will return false in case where not a single item is selected here in this grid. So whenever we select it, the save button gets enabled. If I switch to another race, nothing is selected, the save button is grayed out again. WPF does all the magic behind the scenes just because we implement i command and inside i command can execute.